Social Club, here is Jolly Good. And we had a great time. Morning, sports fans. We'll come to that in a moment. But it's do or die for Europe's most successful football club. Real Madrid will need to overturn a 4-1 deficit against Borussia Dortmund tonight if they're to make it through to the final of the Champions League. The first leg will be remembered for a four-star show from Robert Lewandowski, who scored all of Dortmund's goals, but it's Ronaldo's away strike which gives Real a chink of light. The winners will face either Barcelona or Bayern Munich, who play tomorrow night. An all-German final remains on the cards at Wembley. And yes, the bunting is out at Villa Park. Aston Villa gave themselves a chance of Premier League survival with a real boost thanks to a 6-1 hammering of Sunderland. Last night's result at Villa Park puts them five points clear of the relegation places. Christian Benteke, he's out of this world! And was the hero for the home side, hitting a hat-trick, which included strikes from Ron Fla, Gabi Agbon Lahore and Andreas Weiman. Their opponents had Stefan Sessignon sent off in the second off. And Crystal Palace can guarantee themselves a championship playoff place with a win over Millwall at the New Den tonight. They'd move four points clear of sixth place Bolton, just one game left. Victory for the home team would ensure they'd avoid relegation. And it looks like Cara, Jamie Carragher, has definitely decided to hang up those boots at the end of the season because he's going to join Sky Sports as an analyst in August to partner Gary Neville, Jamie Redknapp and Graham Souness and the British Lions rugby team will be announced for the Aussie Tour later. 35 players will make it into the plane down under. Wales skipper Sam Warburton and Ireland's Paul O'Connell are thought to be the main contenders for the role of captain. Will Johnny Wilkinson make it after kicking all the points for Toulon at the weekend? It may be too late for the Toulon star. Oh. I know. Smooth Radio Sport, I'm Johnny Gould. Of course you are. And you're going too fast for me this morning. Can you slow down just a bit? Certainly. Uh, Real Madrid, Jose Mourinho, uh, uh, hanging on by a thread. Do you think he's going to come back to English football? Good question, because the build-up to the was. semi-final, it was, it was pithy. <laughs> I thought it had a certain je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais pas, even. <laughs> now, the build-up to the semi-final, second leg, has once again seen speculation in the media fueled by Simon Bates, about the future of Real boss Jose Mourinho. He's denied reports that he told the Dortmund coach, Jurgen Klopp, last week that he's leaving for Chelsea at the end of the season. Jose is the biggest tease in football. They've made a dog's <laughs> breakfast of their domestic season. So it was the Champions League for Jose and Real, which was the big target this year. Real are chasing a tenth European Cup, and Mourinho is up for a third title with three different clubs. He is... A special one. Not the special one as everyone thinks, a special one. But he's almost certainly looking for a new club and he'll regard not winning the European Cup at the Bernabeu as his first blot on the career paper. That's why I say... A what? Tonight's tie is not over till the fat lady sings. The fat lady? Or the thin one. Oh, oh fair enough. <laughs> You're back on form! I thought we were...